Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card. For regular updates I request you to subscribe our channel, also you can join our community by becoming a member of our channel, you get access to a whole range of exclusive perks that will take your experience to the next level, so, what are you waiting for, joining our channel membership is easy, just click the join button below to unlock all these amazing perks and support our channel directly. Your membership helps us create more content and improve our videos for everyone. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card is a science fiction novel that explores themes like understanding, forgiveness, and cultural clash. Set in a distant future, it follows Ender Wigan, who now travels as a speaker for the dead, telling the true stories of deceased people, even if it reveals uncomfortable truths. When he arrives on the planet of Lusitania, he uncovers deep-seated conflicts between humans and an alien species called the Pequeninos. Ender tries to bridge this gap by understanding both sides and ultimately helps bring about reconciliation. The book challenges readers to reconsider what it means to truly understand others and the importance of empathy in resolving conflicts. The story begins on the planet Lusitania, where a unique species called the Pequeninos, or Piggies, live. These intelligent beings have a complex society that revolves around trees known as Father Trees. The human colonists on Lusitania are studying the Pequeninos, trying to understand their culture and biology. The planet is also home to the mysterious Descalata virus, which is deadly to humans but essential to the Pequeninos reproductive cycle. Enter Andrew Wigan, also known as Ender. He has traveled to Lusitania under the pseudonym Demosthenes to write a biography of the recently deceased Sinologer Pipo, who was killed by a group of Pequeninos. Ender now works as a speaker for the dead, a role in which he tells the truth about a person's life, warts and all, in order to help survivors find closure. We meet several key characters on Lusitania, including Ender's sister Valentine, who is also on the planet under the pseudonym Demosthenes, and her husband Jack, who is the governor of Lusitania. We also meet the xenobiologist Dr. Ella Ribera, who is studying the Pequeninos, and her son Miro, who is physically disabled but possesses a keen intellect. As Ender delves into Pipo's life, he uncovers secrets that the Xenologer kept hidden, including his discovery that the Pequeninos are sentient beings. Ender's investigation leads him to believe that Pipo's death was not a random act of violence but rather part of a larger conspiracy involving the Descalata virus and the Catholic Church, which controls human colonization efforts in space. Through a series of revelations and confrontations, Ender learns that the Descalata virus was created by an ancient alien race known as the Pequeninos. The virus was intended to be a tool for terraforming planets, but it has inadvertently caused the deaths of countless humans. Ender realizes that the only way to save Lusitania from destruction is to find a way to communicate with the Pequeninos and negotiate a peaceful coexistence. Ender confronts the leaders of the Catholic Church and exposes their role in perpetuating the conflict on Lusitania. With the help of Dr. Ribera and her son Miro, Ender is able to establish communication with the Pequeninos and negotiate a truce. The Pequeninos agree to share their knowledge of the Descalata virus with humanity, and in return, the humans agree to respect the Pequeninos' sovereignty and right to exist. As the story draws to a close, Ender delivers Pipo's speaker for the dead eulogy, revealing the truth about his life and the impact he had on those around him. The people of Lusitania begin to heal from the trauma of the past and look forward to a future of cooperation and understanding with the Pequeninos. Ender reflects on the power of forgiveness and reconciliation, knowing that he has played a crucial role in bringing peace to Lusitania. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.